Well, being a senior is, is just I've, I've looked at my past, like when I was younger, the seniors that were above me and or the older guys and just seeing what they've done and how they've treated guys. And I guess you try to treat everyone with, with equal respect, whether they're a freshman, sophomore, junior, or your own class. So I just, I think I've learned from the older guys when I was younger. It's been important to, to be a leader and as a class, I think it doesn't matter if you're a captain or assistant captain or just a senior, you need to, everyone has the same, same role on the team. Well, being named captain was a huge honor. I guess I think it, it made me kind of push myself a little more rather than if I figured I could slide by without doing something, I realized, you know, I need to set an example and do the right thing or I need to do the extra things here and there. So I think it's just, it, it ma makes you hold yourself a little more accountable. I think most of them, a lot of the memories aren't in games or goals or big hits or big block shots. It's, it's some of the practices that we have no pucks out there. After two bad losses, we played awful. And the guys are on the ice. Some guys are about to throw up. But you, you push your teammates, and you, and you see how hard you guys work to, to get better and to, to, learn, to learn to play the game. And like in the weight room, some of the things we did outside, it was some hard work, and they're physically grueling. I think those are the times you remember the most, because it's, it's a little bit different than just playing a game, scoring a goal, making a pass. It's something like extreme. It's been great. Um, Coach Donato and Coach Foley, they work a lot with the forwards. Um, but I mean, they, they obviously tell me things where, I'm, where I need to work on. I've worked most closely with Coach Jay, and he's a great addition. Um, he came in my sophomore year after Coach McCann left, and he's just he's a, he's a positive attitude. He's, he, if you do something wrong, he'll tell you, but he, he'll say it in the right way where you, you learn from it rather than feeling bad about your mistake. And um, I think he's just, he's pushed me along the way. If I'm not working hard enough, he'll tell me in the correct manner and, and make sure I, he gets the most out of me. Right now, I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe um, I'll play next year. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see how things work out in that, in that avenue. But if not, I'd like to get in the business world eventually, possibly go to grad school. Uh, business school. Great. I mean, Harvard Hockey has a ton of history, and just to be be part of that for a moment is is spectacular. But for four years, being in that locker room, just some of the guys that come through here, they're so successful, and the character that they all have. I think each guy brings something different to the table, but there's something that's in each Harvard Hockey player that's consistent, and I think it's a certain type of character that you need to have to be a Harvard Hockey player.